Hi there, this is Amy Goad. I'm going to show you how to use I Annotate. There it is on the screen. It may look different if you have an older version. We're going to first start in the email. Okay, so you go into your email account and you, the student will be looking for a file attached, which would be their homework, that they're going to open in I Annotate. And here we have a worksheet African Partition Map. So to bring that into iAnnotate, the student just needs to tap on it. And then this bar will come up. If it disappears, just touch once and it comes back. And it gives you some options for where you can open it. We don't want the iBooks. We want iAnnotate. <laughs> it doesn't like my touch. iAnnotate. We're going to click and it will go right into the program. If the student wants to give it a different title, click on that, hit Info, and then they can rename it. So they could backspace if they wanted to rename it. To get out of that, just click. All right, so now this is our toolbar. There are more toolbar options to add to it by clicking on the little wrench and you get all these variations. The main one we're going to be using is this typewriter with the A on it. This typewriter doesn't hold the default for font size. So we want this one. So if for some reason we wanted this stamp, you just drag it and it'll move right over. But we don't need the stamp, so we're going to put it back. And we're done. So we want to type in this. We want to put our answers in it. So what is the title of the map is the first question. Partition of Africa. So we're going to get our typewriter open. And we're going to tap after map. And we can put it closer where we want after we type. We're going to have black font. If you wanted to change the size, you would tap on the A and you can drag the bar. Right now we're at 12 points, so... If you lose your typewriter, just go back and do it again. All right, what is the title of the map? Partitions. Partitions of Africa. All right, and just tap once more, and then you can move it around to where you want it. Let's say we wanted to check our answer. We're going to just hit done so we can look at the top again. Partition of Africa. Okay, we spelled partition wrong. So we're going to go back and hit edit. Our box comes up. You can increase the size of that box by pulling on the red feet. And to get your correct letter in there, you're just going to click and T-I-O-N-S. Tap to get that off. Done. Move on to the next question. Define partition. Again, you would hit on the typewriter and click. You'd keep doing this until you finish. Okay, once the student is done answering the questions, make sure they put their name on the top just to get in the habit. So, Amy. And they could also just do their initials if typing takes them too much time. Amy G. And I'm going to send it by clicking on the envelope icon. You're always going to choose the middle PDF option with the yellow highlighting on it. The email will come up. There's the subject. There it is. As soon as they click in the two, come on, oops, holding my finger there, this blue button will come up. That takes them immediately to their address book. So then they can um, choose their teacher's email if they put it in their contacts address book. Otherwise, they would type it in. So let's pretend I typed it in, and then you just hit send, and you're good. One last thing to know about this is if the student um, wanted to do some highlighting or free writing, this is your highlighter button. Click. They can choose the color they want.
So maybe they want to choose green for all facts and blue for some other piece um, to highlight with as a way to code. Then they just click on the color, tap, and then you got to tap on the page to get that box to go away. And then they just start highlighting. You can move the feet too, or you can just put your finger over it. All right. And um, the free write is the pencil. They can also choose different colors. And then you just write bloop, 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 bloop. So that's kind of good if they just need to check their answers and turn them back in via email. Okay, thanks for watching.